Broadview University is the best vet tech school and the only vet tech school in Utah that is accredited, which means you can get certified after you graduate. You also get an associate's degree. We train you for one specific thing. We give you the skills, the knowledge, the technology to do one specific job. So here we teach veterinary technology. So they're learning everything that they need to know to go into the field to be a successful technician. A veterinary technician is a very capable and skilled assistant to a practicing veterinarian. There are a lot of responsibilities that they are capable of performing and when there's a well-trained veterinary technician, those procedures don't have to be performed by the veterinarian. So the very first class that you will take when you come to Broadview University is introduction to veterinary technology. So you'll learn all of your animal restraints and the different parts of the body. And terminology is another class. So that is one of the main basis for veterinary technology is learning all of the words and the terms. And then we have parasitology, which is my very favorite class to teach. Surgery and anesthesia is a huge class, so it teaches all about the anesthesia, the different pain medications, pre-meds, um, the different types of anesthesia that we use to keep them um, under anesthesia while they're sleeping. Uh, anatomy is a huge one because you learn every single organ, uh, muscles, the whole body function and system. Radiology is where you learn how to take images or radiographs of animals. When we go into radiology, we will usually use a stuffed animal just so they get used to how to position them on the x-ray table. The students here have excellent access to faculty. Uh, class size is small, and so there's a lot of interaction within the classes. Uh, small class size also encourages all of the students to participate. So there's just, there's a very rich learning environment here. To be successful in the veterinary field, you need to, first of all, no restraint, how to approach um, aggressive animals. And then also you need to know how to place IV catheters for surgery or for um, in hospital care. You need to know how to draw blood, what veins are in what part of the body, which are the best veins to draw from how to set up an IV pump, how to run it, uh, how to prep for surgery. There are just so many aspects that go into working in a veterinary hospital from medications to different surgeries and how they're performed and what instruments are needed. We have mannequins mainly for drawing blood from limbs or say a rat tail vein which kind of blows the student away when they think that they're going to draw blood from the vein in a rat's tail. But that's a valuable skill. And the truth is, if they can draw blood from uh, a rat's tail vein, they can draw blood from almost anything. So here at the school, we bring animal shelter animals in. We like to do a no charge to our um, shelters. That gives our students experience in performing the anesthesia, performing in surgery, assisting the doctor, keeping an eye on them afterward to make sure that they're doing all right. So they get the real world experience here in our own school, in our surgery suite and prep room with what they're going to be doing in an actual clinic. We are here to help them succeed every step of the way, to cheer them on, and when they graduate, it's a wonderful thing to see that happen, but it's kind of a tearful event too because you've been with these students for 18 months and they've become part of your life. And for me, a lot of them are like my children and seeing them succeed and move on into the world, it's an emotional experience, but it's wonderful to see.